Hey everyone, this is Alex from Equilibrium Tuning. Today we're going to be going over how to install your access port for the first time, as well as flashing to a different tune file. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jesse at EQT. Today I'm going to show you how to load a tune file onto your access port. So this is what the email is going to look like when we email you your tune. First, you'll make sure if you don't have access port manager, click this one. And then whichever operating system you have, that's of course the one you want to download. After that, Access Port Manager will open like this. You're going to want to click this to save as. This is your tune file. So you'll press save. Then from here, you can open up Access Port Manager. This is what it looks like. Make sure to have it plugged in using the USB cord that was provided in the COG box. On this screen, you'll want to click this one to import the file find wherever you saved that tune file and you could double click click yes and now it's on your access port we suggest you updating at the same time while you have your access port plugged in so you can begin the firmware update from there you're good to go make sure to click eject and then you can take your access port to your car and flash the tune hey guys now that you have your tune file loaded onto the access port, you can bring it in, into your car with the OBD cord. Make sure that's plugged in below. And then you'll want to have your foot off the brake and press the on button on your car. So engine, engine off, accessories on. Um, and then we highly recommend you use a battery charger while you are flashing. Certain year cars also require the hood open, but if you have a battery tender connected, your hood is open, of course, so you're good to go. So this is the screen that's going to pop up as soon as you turn your car on. You'll want to press continue. And then you'll go to install. Then we just wait while it identifies our ECU. This is just your ECU ID. Certain cars, like Mark 8, you will need to write this down. Now these are all the tune files that are on the access port. You will want to find the one that was emailed to you based on the name of it. And then you can press that to start the flash. All right, so now you guys should be on this screen. If you guys saw any errors or anything pop up on your dash, that's totally fine. After this next step, it will start to clear all of your, all of your codes. Um, this process, if you're installing the access port for the first time is around 10 to 20 minutes. If you guys have already installed the access port and you're just flashing a new tune, this will only take one to three minutes, so it'll be a quick process. So now we'll go ahead and press the start button, off, on, and then click continue. Now it's working on clearing all of those codes that popped up. And the map was successfully flashed so you're good to go press the off on your ignition keep keep it off for about 15 seconds and then you're good to go you can turn on your car